Okay, um, this is part two of the Majora's Mask Master Quest playthrough, walkthrough kind of thing that I'm doing. Um, in this part I'm going to finish Waterfall Temple and collect all the fairies. So you can see entering the temple that's a bit different. The first thing I'm going to do is collect this chest. So we have one stray fairy. <laughs> go back to the start and go around the other side. Because I want to get to the next room. So, okay, we can see that we need this web to disappear to get up these platforms. So, we can hit the switch with the Deku Bubble. Now if I equip the uh, stick... There's also another fairy in this room, according to the mask. So yeah, that's the first room kind of solved. The other fairy is up here in this corner, but I'm going to need the uh, bow to be able to get that, so I'll be coming back to this room later. Now in here, I've got some ice switches that also will require the bow, so doesn't seem to be a lot that I can do. These doors are locked. There's a platform up there. <laughs> um, that door is free. But first, there's a chest down there at the other side of the room. And there's a ferry right there, so we should get those. So you can easily go across the water as Deku. If you try to jump on these as human, you will just uh, get eaten. <laughs> I'm also going to pick up this stick. Just in case I need a second one. So I'm going to pull the block back one space. If I need to run across the bridge, then I can. So in this room there's a switch under the water. Obviously I'm not really going to be able to get that because the water is still poisoned. But once it's purified, I should be able to get that switch. And there are some torches. So I should probably try to go about lighting those. Get rid of the dragonfly first. So this is quite simple. Just run around the room. <laughs> And that made a chest of here, so 
That wasn't the way to get into that door down there. So I guess we come back later for that as well. Uh, according to the mask, there's still another fairy in this room. I'm going to use bombs. And that's the fairy. <laughs> so, going upstairs, we know that room's going to be dark. Um, we can take a flame upstairs using the torch. I saw a heart back here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. This room is actually quite difficult. I'm gonna try and kill all the enemies. <laughs> but it's really easy to die, actually. It might be a bit simpler if you lit all the torches, but you don't get anything from doing that, so I'm just gonna skip it right now. Okay, so we have a chest that just appeared, which um, is over here. So that was killing all the enemies. There is something above the door. <laughs> I'm going to shoot a Deku bubble. So that's how <laughs> the door opens. This room is really cool. Um, there are some webs in the holes. So if you paid attention in the second room, there was that platform just kind of floating there. And that was in the middle of the room. So I'm going to guess that it's the middle hole that I should be burning the web. But I also want to get the stray fairy, so I'm going to burn these just now. Apparently that one didn't burn. <laughs> oh, there's also a chest there. I guess you should pick that up. I didn't really want to fall down. <laughs> Um, it's not a big deal. I can get back up there relatively quickly. So, okay, I'm going to get this chest, which should be the dungeon map. Yep, and get the fairy. And then I want to drop down the middle hole. Here's another chest. So what do we get this time? The bow. That's going to be useful. So... Since I haven't been 
to the upper level of this room on this side and use the Deku flower to get over here. And equip the bow. Okay, so I can light that torch and purify the water which means I can go back to the other room now and I should be able to get the switch um, is there anything else I can do in here first? oh there's that switch over there and there's another chest so I'll get that in a moment Get some health. Okay, so now that door's open. Now that we can hit the switch. So I can go through that door and see what's in there. Some enemies, apparently. So that was quite simple. <laughs> Not really difficult to kill all of those. At least with the bow. <laughs> ah. So with that key I can go across to the other side of the dungeon. Um, before I do, I'm going to go back up. Because in the first room there was this fairy that I can now get because I have the bow. So that's eight fairies. And this is probably another one. Yeah. Now I can hit the frozen switch as well. Which opens the room before the boss room. But I don't have the boss key yet, so need to go and find that. Ooh, there's a chest up here. Another stray fairy. So that's 10 fairies out of 15. And now I can go to uh, this side because I have the key. So there's a chest. A locked door and barred doors. There's some torches as well. I'm gonna kill these enemies first. Okay, so... I'm gonna want to use a stick. If I use the flower, I can get over to this chest. Which looks important. And there's the compass. So... Looks like I will need to jump over to that torch those torches. So... Well that didn't work. that again. 
okay. So now that platform's moving, I can get to the other side of the room. Which I actually could anyway, entering from the top, because there was a Deku flower up there. Like, that one. But I can also get to this chest. And there's another fairy. So that's 11 fairies now. Okay, so now I'm going to need to get a stick all the way over there. And that was easy enough, right? <laughs> And that opens both the doors. Um, I'm going to equip bombs for this room. Yeah, so this is just another enemy room. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but um, the thing about Master Quest, you take twice as much damage from everything that uh, compared to what you would in normal Majora's Mask. So I do have to kind of be careful with my health. Okay, so there's 12 fairies. I should go and check out that room. Uh oh. <laughs> the dragonflies are back. So this is well. <laughs> There's three of them. <laughs> okay, an easy way to beat these is using Deku nuts and a Deku stick. I ran out of deck of sticks though. <laughs> but stunning them makes them really, really easy to beat. So that room wasn't as difficult as it looked. Okay, another key. So. can unlock this door. And here's Gecko. Okay, the easy way to do this as well. You just use a bomb instead of trying to use the flowers. It's much easier. That's not a very difficult mini boss. There's a harder version of Gecko later on. And then we get the boss key. So that's all the dungeon items. But I don't have all the fairies yet. There is one more room to go in there. So 
so oops. Back in this room and go through this door this time. So there's the boss door and it's covered by a web <laughs> and there are more dragonflies. I should probably kill those if I could hit them and kill that Scorchula. Oh yeah, there's a switch over here and a fairy. I'm gonna get those. And that lit the torches, so that will be helpful. Oh, I can see um, there's a, another fairy in the water. I can just about see it. So, actually, I want to jump over here because there's that chest. Maybe I can find a way to get to it. Also, I can probably burn that web from here using the torches. Yeah, so now I can enter the boss door. The last thing to do is um, get these fairies. I um, let go of the flowers too soon. <laughs> that was a mistake, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so there's number 14, and we already know where number 15 is. Oh, I didn't know you could even miss that. So there's all the fairies. They were not too difficult to find. Now it's just solving the last part of this room. Which... <laughs> this solution I don't think is very obvious because I'm pretty sure this is a mechanic that's never used in this game <laughs> because I don't think the webs are even used but yeah you can bounce right off of that <laughs> that's like one of the coolest things <laughs> so that is um that's the solution to this room you bounce on the web to get to this platform. I think there's also some way you can do it by, um, like if you get where the chest is, you can jump across somehow. I think maybe you jump from the chest to where the torch is, but yeah, I just wanted to show that off. <laughs> so now we can fight the boss. I have everything I need. So this is the first boss, not really too difficult, although double damage could make it a bit harder, but Yeah, quick spins are really the easiest way, or the quickest way. Um, you can also time 
uh, hits. If you time it right, then you can just stun knock it over and you'll never get attacked. But I'm not gonna bother to do that in this video. <laughs> so there, that's um, the first dungeon. Woodfall Temple. And I got all the fairies, and I got the map, compass, and boss key. And it was quite simple, other than the, the part where I fell down. <laughs> um, that was a mistake, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, just the main thing is I showed how to do everything, I guess. Where everything is. I may be left out one of the chests, but there is actually a chest that you're not able to get when you first go in the dungeon. So, it, like, it's not important. I think it's like 20 or 50 rupees anyway. And I'm not really interested in rupees. There's a hidden 100 rupee as well. Which I didn't show in the video because you can find it yourself. yeah, like, that was all easy, relatively, apart from the dark room, the dark room is difficult, <laughs> because you will die. So, the last thing I'm going to do is take all the fairies back and get the great spin. Um... I'm not going to get masks in this playthrough because like everything is just the same as normal Majora's Mask pretty much I don't think I changed anything to do with any of the masks I know there's um, some heart pieces that are different but there's only one or two and I don't think I need to show those. So yeah, I'm not going to pick up the Deku Princess or anything. So, leave the dungeon. Actually, what's the best way to do this? I'm just gonna soar back because I'm too lazy to walk around. I don't know if I should pick up some heart pieces. I could get a new heart container right now. That might be useful in the next part. I guess the next part will be finding the way to the second dungeon. Which um, I don't know how long that's going to take. <laughs> Yeah, here's the great spin that I get for collecting 
15 fairies. I think I'm going to go and pick up a few hearts just quickly and then I can save the game and we'll be done with part 2 So this heart piece is just really easy. And then what else can I get? Well, I have the bow, so um Go back to the swamp. So that owl was useful. <laughs> I'll get this one in the tree. I'm really doing this is because <laughs> um, because of the double damage. <laughs> Honestly, I'm scared I might die at some point because I'm not really very good at this game. Oh yeah, that one's not there. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a chest over there. Probably not hard to guess what's in that chest. Um, <laughs> that was good. Get the heart from the Dodongos. I died. <laughs> I just want hearts, no. <laughs> um Yeah. It's really easy with go on mask, but I don't have that yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
No way. <laughs> Correct. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that took me longer than it should have. I might just collect some heart pieces throughout this. Um, could be useful. Anyway, song of time. Game is saved. So that is part two done, and part three soon, probably. Maybe I need to remember what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Okay, thanks for watching, and. See you next time.